Can you believe it? $10 at KB Toys. Hey, BB. Welcome in. Oh, what's this say? Collectors beware. Bonus disappearing ink and model image hologram cards may be within. Wow, beware. Beware or whatever. Eight cards per pack, 36 packs. All right, let's see. Let's see what's up. Ah. Remarkably, uh, remarkably strong for being so old, right? Oh, wait, I want to keep this sticker. Yeah, that's a relic. Here we go. What's up, Peach? Welcome in. Whoa, those are pretty. Wow. Love it. You love to see it. Let's go big. Go big or go home. This button's there. There it goes. It's not broken. This focus is broken, though. We got to do something about that. I feel like I say that every week. And I just don't fix it. I just never do. Come on. I can do this. There we go. Jumanji. Keep it and run. Alan shakes the Jumanji box and opens it up, catching a glimpse of what it looks like, of what looks like a mysterious game board. It has four winding paths of blank squares and a foggy black circle at the center. Before he can stutter it more carefully, construction workers approach, so he slams the game shut and scurries home with it. Nice knife, thank you. I think I got it at a garage sale. Every month at the quarter moon, there is a monsoon in your lagoon. Ah! Oh no! Oh. Didn't think I was gonna get sad. Forgot about, forgot about this guy. Forgot about this guy's uh, uh, a situation. A new home. You know what? That kid, when they turned him into a monkey, that was creepy. That was too much for me growing up. That was way too much. Alan Parrish. Oh, we got another. We got another. Uh, what's it called? Oh, I thought it was going to be another like riddle or not a riddle. Rhyming doom. This guy's awesome. He's a remorseless killer unleashed from the jungles of Jumanji. Van Pelt is an imperialist Englishman from a bygone era with just one thought on his mind, bagging his prey. Love that guy. Love that kind of character. That just like snobby safari dude. Exterminator story. Not the greatest car. I mean, they're just they're just screen, uh, they're just screenshots of the film. Whatever, you know. It's uh, it's the design of like the borders and stuff, and the and like the text on the back that really makes you fall in love with with a movie trading card. It's not so much the screenshot. But that said, it leaves a little bit to be desired. It's not like you know. The graphic design's not really making me passionate, but that's okay. It's Skybox, and that's, you know, they just don't make the best, and that's okay. 
Monkey Patrol. Hell yeah, dude. Well, I don't think there's any gas. You know? What's it look like when you rip gas? That's what I want to know. I want to see one of these super secret cards. There's that weird bird that steals the steals the game board and flies off with it. She, her character is, like, so tragic. How she's, like... She gets gaslit into thinking she made the whole thing up. Terrible. What year is it? Any crazy... See... I wish I could show you this, but the bottom comment, I can't see because there's like a friggin' em like there's a heart button. There's an emo over a part of it. So I gotta wait for another comment to be able to see it. This music is not the vibe. Higher ground. Oh, see? He's monkey mode. Monkey mode, um, what's his name? I don't know. I'm not focusing great, you know? Let's get this, let's get these awful, awful beats out of here. This is not the, the jabroni vibe. Ah, ah. Here we go. Now let's consult a to-do list. That's not the right button. Beast bar. Packs, we're down, we're down two. How's everybody doing? It's been two weeks. What have we been up to? I'll tell you what I've been up to. This is too loud. I uh, went to Walmart today for the first time in forever. And I got these two items. I got a tech deck and a Mr. Beast bar. <laughs> this could be the thumbnail. Right? Or wait, let's... let's um. Let's get the let's get the uh, green screen going. How do I do that? I actually don't know how to do that. It's been too long. I don't know how to do that. Whatever. Let's just have this beast bar, or take a take a little bite out of it. This is a uh, it's a milk chocolate peanut butter. It's basically their Reese's thing, you know. Any, okay, I can see your comment now, Peach. Any crazy, unique cards or rare stuff? Yeah, where'd I put that? They tell you, right on the box, collectors beware. Bonus disappearing ink and model image hologram cards may lie within. So basically, yeah, there's something rare in there. Do we know what that means? Absolutely not, no idea. No idea what that means. About to have this beast bar though. About to devour. I kind of like the minimal. Oh, the oh, I see. You share this part, and then this part's all for me. Chris, Chris Oakden, welcome in. Yeah, that's pretty good. These nuts. Hmm. It's not like amazing, but it's pretty good. I'm trying to show you a cross section. Very, very thin. Very thin bit of uh, peanut butter. It is, it is enjoyable, but I don't know. It's like maybe a six out of 10. That's okay. Ginger, you're just in time. You're just in time for a little blast from the past. Chris Oakton tried some gin and tonic mackerel. I regret not trying them before. Yeah, that tin's unreal. 
That tin's an absolute game changer. You know what? I totally intended to find my uh, World Industries Devil action figure before I went live. And then I could ride the tech deck with him. And that would have been cool. But I forgot to do all that. So instead, we're just going to play with a tech deck for a sec. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I always was a, I, I did the three finger method because it allows you to, to pivot from all sides at once. And then when you're doing a trick, you're going to want to pull some momentum with you. You got to grab that momentum like this. You got to. Oh, Ollie. You, you throw it back and you use your momentum that you brought with you to let you bring her back around town. Is that clear? Get this mouse out of the way. Can, you, can anyone actually do tricks? Is that a thing? It is a thing. I've seen it on YouTube. Oh, Rodney Mullen. Whoa. Rodney Mullen. Oh, Rodney Mullen. Whoa. <laughs> I had one of these that was Digimon themed. I had about 10 billion of these for Christmas one year. My mom bought out the whole KB toys. <laughs> they had nothing left after she walked out of there. All right, yeah. There we go. Beast bar. Tech deck. Sardines and viewfinder. Let's just go straight to view to viewfinder. So this is a pretty cool game. We're gonna we're gonna jump into the deans after. Um, what do I have to do to get this to work? This is just like a puzzle game, but it's like a super trippy puzzle game. Should pop up any second if everything's according to plan. There we go. If anything's awkwardly loud, let me know. That, that feels awkwardly loud already. Yeah, that's awkwardly loud. Let's bring that Master V down. Let's bring the, the background music down. I think that's pretty good. That's called finger skating. Fingerboarding. Very close. I did vet the game. It does work for me. It does work on my weird picky system. Right. We're in. Time to explore. Time to explore. I sat on not the chair. I sat on... Here we go. That's a chair. So you can sit on anything. That's cool. Yeah, it's a first person uh, puzzle game. And I I feel like I need to explain more to really to really hook you. To think all But honestly, I don't even know how to explain it. With there's only one way to there's only space. I just have to show you. Whether Hiraya wants to admit it or not, Mirren is truly brilliant. It's a little narrative driven too. How do I get out of here? Oh my mom has one of those. This thing here? It's like a Weird way to cook stuff where the heat forms condensation inside the cone and then the liquid runs down the sides or whatever. What is this place? I've never seen this much overgrowth before. It's, it's beautiful. Is this what it used to look like? The world? Okay. Okay. Uh, we fell. We fell already. I guess we know now that falling doesn't hurt. Okay. <laughs> That's some good news at least. Ooh, hold R to rewind. 
There must be a way to get back up there. So this is uh time shifters? Is that what it was called? So I should not use that one again. What game had time time manipulation like that? It was like on PS2 40 what years ago. Photograph doing here. So this is the game. This is how this game works. You get these old photographs. You hold them up. All right, prepare to have your mind blown. Did, hang on, did you just shift reality? You can put them down and they become real. They become reality to you. And I don't think I can pick it back up. Maybe I can, but that was trippy. That was, that was super trippy. And that's the game. Solve puzzles like that. Life is strange. I missed that one. I'm talking like a shooter. I think it was time. It wasn't time splitters. It was like time shifters or something. Something shooter. Shooter vibes. Pick up battery. So it's kind of like Portal, but with uh, old images. Black and white images. Imagery. It's almost working. Looks like we need one more. Well, let's see. Let's see about this. Here we go. Watch. Y'all about to be y'all about to puke your shorts? Whoa. <laughs> Here we can get our battery. Oh, it was a picture of the very room where I got this one in. So this is like a clone of a battery. Battery clone or whatever. Well done. Too easy. Prince of Persia, exactly. Exactly. I don't know why I thought it was a shooter. I think I probably played a shooter that did that too. But that's very, that's very much, that belongs to Prince of, Prince of Persia. I tried to cheat. I was playing Prince of Persia on GameCube and I was climbing a wall and I had my, my knife, my time knife or whatever. And it was, the objective was to go down. So I was climbing down, do, doing all the jumping puzzles to go down, down this building. But I was like, I bet I could cheat the system by just jumping off, pausing in midair, saving the game, leaving, coming back, loading in midair, falling, use my knife. And I thought that would like cancel out the damage but it did not. And I actually saved over my save file, so I was stuck in a in an automatic death. I could not I could not get away from that. And I had to just not play the game anymore. Cuz no matter what, I loaded the game, I was falling to my death. So that's just a little lesson I learned about uh trying to cheat. <laughs> that's how I learned integrity actually. Okay, so are we going multiple layers deep here? We got a, a photo within a photo. Oh my goodness. This is beyond trippy. Hey, there we go. Hey, there we go. Oh, what's wrong? It can't be on the side. What up, Dr. Bob? Welcome in. Why isn't this working? Why does it have a little... Oh, it's unlocked. It's not locked. That is an unlocked symbol. Whoa, this place definitely feels different than what we've seen so far. Dr. Bob, this is what we're, this is what we're sampling today. Settled here. Courtesy of you. It's, uh, it's really nice. Full disclosure, I need I some footage of me not you. enjoying a sardine. That's why I picked these for today. For, for an upcoming video, I needed a little bit of footage. I'm I'm feeling compelled to turn the music off. Is that what? We, yeah, that's what we want. That's for sure what we want. Was it successful? Yeah. Just to reduce the the muddle, you know. There was a musical muddle going on. 
Slow Jabroni, are you familiar with The Looker? I am not familiar with The Looker. What the heck is The Looker? Okay. Hmm. It must be a security measure. A structured path we have to follow. Well, let's find the next working one. All right, we're in we're in official puzzle mode. The bandos are good. I'll get I'll get there. We'll get there. Might want to do King Oscar versus C Cl Clover Leaf. No, that's Matt territory. That's too that's too educational. You got to send some to Matt. This is just chocolate bars. Chocolate bars on chocolate bars. So the objective basically is find a picture, you know? It's a look and find for a photograph, then you use the photograph to complete puzzles. The Looker is a great game, highly recommended after you play this. It's the same vein, but best, best to go in blind, okay. The Looker. I also think I want to play Soma because I never finished it. And I want to. And it's pretty short. The gray That's so cool. That's like the coolest thing like ever, dude. I don't even understand how a game possibly makes these calculations. The looker is wild. All right, I'll check it out. I'll look for the looker. We'll go to looker town. Oh. That is crazy. That's such a that's such a puzzle, dude. This is unbelievable. Love the hat. Thank you. It's got a, it's a little bit see-through. Ooh. Oh, you got to find duckies. There's ducky collectibles. Maybe there's a surface you can use to climb up there. Don't give me tips. I don't need that. I just need well, I didn't do that right, did I? What? Are, so what happens if? Uh, oh, I should have. I should have slanted that. What happens if I do it wrong? How do I get it back? Do you, can you not get things back? I feel like it would tell me, like, "Hey, you screwed up." I need. I need to understand. This place, beautiful as it is, carries so much weight. There is promise. Let's see. Switch photo. Oh, right. I have time powers. Reverse time. What's wrong with me? There we go. Future we can surely achieve. Even now, I'm striving to reach heights I never thought possible. All that I hope is that. Oh, oh man, it really starts to speed up. Continues to have meaning out there as well. For our sake, for Marin's sake. So weird, dude. <laughs> I feel like that's always gonna blow me away. I totally forgot like the game's main main mechanic on the first slightly confusing puzzle. Okay. A lot of mural action going on. There we go. Oh. A treasure in the making. Okay. Are these clues? Our future skies are bright. Interesting. Oh, so I can use this to maybe open holes. Let's see. Oh, man. Destroyed that building. That wasn't the play. What if I just take, the, take a chunk out of the corner? And I can peek inside. <laughs> 
No, that's not the play either. It's not clear to me what the play is here. Oh, I see. I need that. I need the battery. How many? I, th I need three batteries. There's one there. I guess I can do that. Yeah, there we go. I feel like that's not what they wanted me to do, but that worked. And then I think I'm going to just assume that there's one in here, but how to get it without doing anything weird to the building. Maybe I can just chop off this wall. Oh, the teleporter was destroyed. Yikes. It was the wrong way. Let's do it, do it this way. Okay. I feel like I'm doing that a wonky way. I feel like that's ugly and wonky and there was a better way. But I'll take it. It worked, technically. It's alive. <laughs> we nailed it. That was a little, uh, that was a little Frankenstein's monster Easter egg for you. Slipper House Extra, Extra. My favorite scent is Rain. Rain with white worms. White of worm. Wine of worm. I just have to guess what you're saying because this is the worst interface in the world and it's, it's showing a emoji over half your message. I'll, I'll give that I'll let that one stew. I'll let that ruminate until I can read it. There it is. My favorite scent is rain with whiff of worm. Um, oh, a, a, a duck. My favorite scent. What is my favorite scent? Uh, I like a good, I like a good baked good, you know? That's always fun to smell. Oh, that's unusual. So the photo is acting a bit weird. Can you hear me? This is trippy. Oh, you can't layer them on top. Oh. Whoa. I don't like this. I'm in like a ball now. Dude, how does this how does this work? How does this game possibly do these calculations? I don't get Welcome that. Welcome back. A little too soon. Those bananas. But happy to have you. I was in VR the whole time. Seems like the simulation had some difficulty maintaining itself. We that blew me away. power sources to keep it running. Bummer, but that's what we get for Your favorite scent time. is the ocean? Okay, Come Kramer. On. We'll get it sorted, and then it's off to the rescue with you. System online. Reset the system. A hint of cinnamon. I, uh, like the smell of like banana bread cooking, baking nice is like, like probably the best line. smell. Ready if I could, are. if I could make that a part of my scent regimen. I don't have a scent re regimen. <laughs> I guess I kind of do. Everyone puts on deodorant to some degree, right? That's kind of a scent regimen. That sound gave me some uh, Lost Lost Woods, Legend of Zelda vibes. Okay, <sighs> we're back. Just as stunning as I remember. We're back to Hub World. Let's get our bearings and find where we left off. Go back to the level. Maybe this time it won't explode. So I have to go over there. So let's get something that takes me over there. Simple as that. We need whatever this is. Ah, oh, it's doing it again. 
I just have to make sure they they don't overlap. Is that maybe the problem? Should be smooth sailing from here. Hopefully. This is bananas, dude. This is kangaroo court. Whoops. You hope everyone wears deodorant? Yeah, I guess I uh, kind of as I was saying that I was like, nah, that's not really true, is it? <laughs> I kind of tried to backpedal by saying something like for the most part, I think. Oh, yeah, I, I get it now. I just have to use this to get across. This is the bridge. I'm here trying to find like a perfect solution photo, thinking there's one at the end, but the solution was what we had the whole time. Trying really hard not to destroy the teleporter. There we go. I feel like I did a bad job. I feel like anyone could have done done better there. I use gold bond powder. Shaq told me it's better. I don't know. You gotta really be careful with uh, advice from athletes because their brains are different. You know, everything everything in their lives has to do with like sports performance so if he if he tells you gold bond it's because he's like sweating his balls off all day close your eyes i don't have that problem so i i, I need a different solution is this payback for making you mix new soil compositions all day please hiraya have you ever known me to be the vengeful sort? those are interesting voices mm. okay see you <laughs> when are you pounding some deans i'm gonna pound some deans not right this second, but we're going to pounce on. Alright, I don't know. This doesn't... There's no... Uh, I don't see anywhere to really go, so I'm just throwing this down. This is like... Such a visually weird game. It's like unbelievable. Oh. <laughs> it's marvelous. See, I told you. Beautiful, amazing. What? We've got some wily e. coyote action, even. Whoops! Almost, almost murdered the no, megaphone. Now that would be telling. This is crazy. Some mystery, no? This is bananas. Are you? I found it. Now this. Oh, listen. Boing 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 boing. Not your usual style. You could say I was stretching my creative muscles. Dude, this is incredible. I'm just gonna be in awe the whole time. This this whole stream just gonna be me going, "Whoa, this is cool." <laughs> I mean, this is this is bananas, bro. Bananas. I want to play whatever game this is. I want to play this this 32-bit medieval ex exploration game. Your mind. 16-bit even. 8-bit. This was fun. Few things make me happier than when you say that here. This is so cool. I'm never gonna get over it. All right. Nailed it. That one wasn't really a puzzle though. That was just like a, a visual uh, uh, experience. This is really cool, dude. It's kind of bananas. I can't, I, well, how many times have I said bananas? I gotta quit saying bananas. That's not gonna, that's not gonna be the catchphrase. That's not the jabroni catchphrase. <laughs> the jabroni catchphrase is, holy mackerel. <laughs> or maybe it's, uh, I'd buy that for a dollar. I don't know. I think, I think that, I think catchphrases are kind of just the type of thing that happens organically. Okay. Oh, it must be a photocopier. 
I'll test it out. Oh. I need my I need my uh my photo back to make a copy. Was that a yellow yeti? Yeah. It's called Sun Sunflower Yellow or something. got a handle and everything. It's awesome. How many do I need, though? I don't need a bunch. Oh, every time you do it, it, like, comes out worse. Just, like, real photocopy technology. The worst technology maybe ever made. Did the trick. Slow Jabroni and his signature catchphrase, this is bananas. <laughs> no, that is not the catchphrase. That, <laughs> we are not the banana boys. Um, second thought, why don't I write this? We are not bananas in pajamas. Um oh I have an idea. There we go. <laughs> Puzzles. Puzzles, bro. And a ducky. Aw. Oh. Don't tell me about the photocopier after I cop, after I waste my photo. Oh, you can double tap to rewind to the last marker. Okay. How many do I really need, though? You know? It lets you make four. Which makes me feel like, oh, I should make four. But what if there's like another different picture I need to photocopy? Banana boys. <laughs> we are not the banana boys. <laughs> I refuse to be a banana boy. Water doesn't need to have a smell. I couldn't stop thinking about this while watching Hiraya tend to her plants today. There's an addictive quality to this place that makes up for the inaccuracies that surround us when we come here. Out of thin air, we, we create beauty that tickles some, but not all of our senses. Strictly speaking, the code we create is a technical marvel and is designing new structure structures and designing new structures thrills me like nothing else. I don't know why that was that one caught me a little. I, caught, I tripped up a little on that. But the novelty of it makes it all too easy to forget what a real flower smells like. And I don't want to forget. All right. Cool. A little bit of lore. Can I look at this photo? Wait a minute, is it getting dark out? Whoa, there's a cat. There's a little Cheshire cat. Don't you have a banana costume? I did. I don't think I have it anymore. That was a long time ago. Oh, I see the thing. Um. That was ballsy. That was a that was a ballsy idea. There's something, there's something here, though. There we go. Oh, but it doesn't work. I have to stand on it. That, that's not right. So it has to be, the orientation has to be like this. Oh, I get it. If I go down here, there's always money in the banana stand. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Very true. Here we go. Hmm, not quite. It's just that it's very far away is the thing. I'm gonna go way down here.
There we go, that'll work. That felt a little clunky. I didn't really come to that cleanly, but it worked. I wonder what else is in... No, what's that? Ooh. That looks interesting. A trolley or whatever. There was another, wasn't there another, uh, yeah, this guy. Oh, I did that already. If you say so. Yeah, let's check out the whatever, the trolley. How do I get there? This is the one. Teleport to optional challenge. That's fun. Better be really, really difficult for it to be optional. It's got to be very complex to be optional. It's got to force people to to want to quit. Okay. Okay. That's pretty trippy. So it has to be this way. Right? Yeah. Uh This is just this is just a crap shoot, this one. It's 50-50 chance you get the right way. There we go. This is a wicked maze, this one. Oh. Got my fourth duck. I got all four ducks of chapter one. Cool, now what? I'm all over the map now. I, I, I broke, oh, you know what? I'm so dumb. Y'all just saw me try to look around with my head. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. I literally tried to look around a wall in real time. I think maybe it's on the t the opposite table. Yeah, that's what it is. Because I bet it's just the duck there. The only thing relevant there was the duck. Bingo. I feel like I hear flies buzzing around. What's that all about? This game reminds me of the movie The Labyrinth with David Bowie. <laughs> oh yeah? Is that what it is? With David Bowie, you say? You remind me of the babe. The babe with the power. So that... That kind of was, uh... We walked in circles a little bit there. We did the wrong thing, I think. Yeah, here we go. And there's the, uh, exit. Which I need to do this with. This is so cool. I wonder what else this is... No, what's that? Okay, but how do I get to it? Let's these, check are, it out. these are like modern homes. Modern homes. Uh, I don't know. What kind of world are we living in here? Like, these are like Jetsons. This is like if the Jetsons lived in Morocco or something. I must admit, I'm surprised you made it this far. It's been a while since someone's wandered around this place. And it's good to have you. There's plenty of things to do here. Have you finished exploring? The yep, I got all my... I got all my ducks. Place where science and art meet nature. Okay, let's do it. Aran was a brilliant designer. 
I guess this is a good time for a sardine, right? The elements you see are all thanks to his handiwork. Though his colleagues were just as amazing in their own right. Need something to eat off of. Was always set to change the world. Or so they said. <laughs> Often. I'm Kate, by the way, an artificial record keeper developed by Mirren to maintain this place. I'll be here to assist you in any way that I can, and I look forward to seeing what wonders you discover. The cat's really weird, man. He's got see-through stripes. Let's do it. Let's get to our Dean. Nope, that's not it. That's not the button. I was in the right place. I just need to be bigger. I need this. These are two tins that Bob sent in. Some janky joke tins. Some silly badoodoos tins. Brunswick is, I mean, we know what's gonna happen. We know how Brunswick's gonna be, but Full disclosure, I mentioned earlier, I actually need a scene for uh, a video I'm editing right now of me not enjoying a sardine. It's very important that I am not enjoying it. So in a way, this is kind of perfect. So thank you. Thank you, Bob. Here we go, Brunswick filet. Oh, this is in French because he lives in Canada, right? Yeah. Sardine fillets, filet de sardine. Is that French? I don't actually know. I actually have no idea. Bruns need salt. They need something. Oh, man. I don't know about that, dude. You can't really see from the camera, but there's like a flat, a flat sh uh, shimmeriness where the, ooh It's a little, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. It's stinky. I don't know. I don't know why it's stinky. It's really stinky, though. No. No, that's not good. No. What should I say? I need a script here. I should say, like... I should say, like, nah. Nah, it's not good at all. I should, I should be quick, because it's going to be just a little clip. It's just going to be a quick little scene. I'm going to act the whole thing out. I'm going to act like I don't know this is going to be gross. Oh. I can't have music. That's, that's critical. Editing Justin would be pissed if I left music in. All right, here we go. This is for, this is official. This is, this is an official scene. A jabroni scene. All right, here we go. Let's see. No. That's not good at all. Nope. Uh-uh. Okay, I think that was good enough. That was good enough for my for my needs. Thank you for participating in a filming uh segment. That's crab bait. You know what? Now, now that you say crab bait, it has a the texture is is quite similar to crab. 
For them to call this sardine fillets is quite bold. This is just like a straight up piece of tilapia. If I'm uh, if I'm being honest with you, I'm, it's growing on me. It is growing on me. I'm actually, I'm actually, yeah. Damn it. Do I like this? The texture is actually growing on me. Because now that I'm not thinking about it at, like it's a sardine, I'm thinking about it like it's just a piece of white fish. It's, it's pretty, it's actually not terrible. <laughs> I mean, it's a little flavorless. Maybe it does need salt. Definitely needs to be able to come out of this tin easier. It is food, yeah. <laughs> Welcome in, Porter. Yeah, I don't know. I give things I give things many chances, you know. Like I my motto is I'll try anything ten times. That's the official Jabroni motto. That's our saying. I'll try anything ten times. I should I should get a shirt with that. Ginger, I gotta message you about shirts. We gotta get a shirt that says, I'll try anything ten times. Oh, here we go. Big honking lump. Look at the look at the honk on that lump. That's a maybe that's a catchphrase. Look at the honk on that lump. Yeah. Yeah. That's a honk and lump. Glad to find out that's how they got around. Whoa, is that a tree? These are sick. Wonder if the founder here knew how to rock. I take back anything I ever said about Brunswick. <laughs> yeah, um, where's my applause? This must be the next set. Maybe we'll find out more. Dude, that's growing on me. I want another one. That's how you got into IPAs, yeah. That's true. I definitely started out thinking they were terrible. Now I have to, now I have to keep myself from even thinking about them. I'm so obsessed. Oh, cool. New technology. I'll never take the art of walking into your work for granted. We found new puzzle technology. Brunswick fan club. Oh, oh. Nice one. Whoa. That's good. Uh, sorry, the simulation is really foggy on my end. But... Here we go. Here's another one. Oh, I bet if I jump. No, it's not doing it. I gotta get up there. Here we go. Secret staircase. Oh, there's a weird cat. Keep your eyes peeled for uh, rubber ducks. I forgot about that. Gotta find our rubber ducks. I bet you there's one in here. That's all right. Maybe I'll worry about rubber ducks offline. We'll just keep our eyes peeled for him. Hey, can you hear me? Hello? Oh, wait. Oh, I think this is voicemail. Bananas. So weird. Oh, it's bananas now. It's not ducks anymore. <laughs> Sorry about this. I've been trying to get back in contact with you. We should be able to communicate through this method, though. I'll keep trying to call. On the bright side, I've been monitoring your vitals in the system, and we're still green on my end. I'll keep you posted if anything changes. 
Good luck in that. Okay. Thank you for the kind words. The item to collect is now banana magnet. Here we go. We got us a photo. Huh. Should I line it up with a, an existing mountain? Will that do anything? What is the point of this one? I can't... Oh! What could this do? I mean, nothing. It's just... It just cuts out holes. Maybe I want a hole here. I don't know. Oh, I just want to get through this fence. I'm dumb. I'm dumb, bro. There's a lot of creativity and nature. Unexplainable things that uproot themselves and find purchase. I'll make sure to keep an eye out and see how this experiment might blossom. I get it. So I need to not only get rid of that. This wall is preventing me from doing the third puzzle. So I need to use this to get rid of the fence and that wall. And now it should work. Unless I ruined this somehow. Nope, there we go. This is so trippy. There we go. Totally ruined this dude's house slash lab. Oh, great. The banana boys <laughs> are back with the banana magnets. I didn't even make that connection. Yeah, I'm thinking that's bananas. <laughs> All right. So the official catchphrase is, I'll try anything 10 times. And the, the official sub sub phrase can be that's bananas <laughs> whoa what happened there dude what are we doing with this card what's the card for eh Vision CR. Truthfully, no idea what this game is about. It's, uh... It's not really about anything. I don't know. It has, like, a, has a small narrative going on. But it's it's just a puzzle game. It's kind of like Portal, in a way. Brilliant, isn't it? That is brilliant. Dude, I don't understand how to use these cards. Um, I don't get it, guys. Banana boys will try anything ten times. <laughs> yeah, it's true. There we go. Let's pull some levers. One banana, two bananas, three bananas, four. There's a lot of uh, a lot of sticky notes that make me feel like I need to read them, but then they're just nothing. Oh, here we go. We need to put put some RGB action together, dude. These visuals are absolutely unreal. I mean, that's crazy. That's wild. We need this other lever. Oh, this will, see, there's clues everywhere. I just don't pay attention. There's a lever. Oh, here it is. What do I do with these playing cards, dude? I don't even need them. 
Maybe you need them to achieve the banana magnet. There must be a banana magnet here. I don't know. I feel compelled to find these bananas. But honestly, dude, that's kind of bananas. That's a banana's attitude, you know? I can't let it, I can't dwell on it. Cool. There goes my playing cards. That didn't do anything. Those had no value. Can the cards be used for a bridge or something? That's what I... That, that was my uh, my initial thought, but... Because the cards don't have a landscape... Like, that's that's what makes the... That's, that's what makes you, like... Able to build path passageways and pathways. Is the fact that the, the photos have depth. But the cards don't have depth. They just had... Hearts and spades that just fell off. I don't know. I bet I, I'm sure I could have played with it more. Ooh. Oh, I can't take it. It doesn't count as one of the four. That doesn't seem right. Oh, look at these fish heads. That's not a... Uh... Oh, you know what? This is the one I already collected. I bet when I collect all four, they'll show up here. That's not currently an applicable banana. Teleporter is locked. Locked. <laughs> Banana boys, rise up. <laughs> Wonder if the fountain hand you had a rock. Alright. Take it easy, lady. Yeah, um, where's my applause? So if you rotate them, it's only in a flat space. Yeah, you can only... You can only do this. If you could do this, that'd be that'd be awesome. Oh, I forgot I had this. Little victories. Little victories, banana boys. Here we go. Yeah, this is kind of mid. It's okay, but it is mid chocolate. I'm checking every nook and cranny for these bananas. Whoa. I believe their name is Melon. Some of her eyes more playful work. The, the watermelon's name is Melanie? Oh, because it's a melon. Melon E. That's clever. Okay. A new mechanic. Oh. That's pretty cool. I can't um, move around at all, though. So I can just take the same picture two times, I guess. If I want, like, oh. Could do some steps this way. 
How's that? How's that feel? How's that taste? Sorry, Melanie. You're 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 a goner, dude. I think you're in the right spot to get vaporized. Oh, I have to go up here anyway. No, you're good, Melanie. Oh, those stairs don't work that way. There we go. Right? Yeah. Now, where's the bananas? No way is there no more bananas yet. I've been running these biochar experiments for a few days now. Every time I think I've finally achieved the perfect soil protection. Be sure to catch my good stuff. As son. soon right. as I mimic future climate conditions, poof, my work falls apart. It's disheartening, but not enough to slow me down. There must be something I'm missing. Excellent show. Maybe. Maybe I can talk to Mirren about She's it. She's talking too slow. It's not worth it. Banana boys can't use stairs. I mean, we can, but not when they're all sideways. Not when we're set up for failure. Why would I get so many? I, I need five photos of this, really? I must need to make a long bridge or something. By my calculations, I only need one, though. <laughs> okay. One battery. But we need two. We need two batteries. Banana boys. Are we really the banana boys if we can't find even one second... A single second banana magnet? Oh, you can pet him. I got a pet achievement. Orange magnet. Oh, it's not for banana magnets. It's for fruit magnets. So, I've been looking for bananas this whole time. Setting myself up for failure. I feel like she long, but I have a solution to this. Ay, ay, ay. This mess of my own making. He must know. Where's the other battery? Squirreled away in her own little corner. Maybe I can find a way out. That might put us back on good terms. Oh, wait a minute. You can change. Relationships often felt. You can change what's in front of the viewfinder. Always put in the effort despite that. Oh, Ginger, dude. How do you how do you come up with this stuff? No. I only have one I only have one more shot here. This is so wonky. Not really. None of these are really <laughs> what I need. Uh, there we go. That one will work. This, this, we got this. We got this. <laughs> That's quite the clever solution. Oops, I broke the thing. Come on. I made it in such a way that I can't <laughs> I can't get under it. <laughs> Even with the solution, I screw it up. Oh, here we go. Here's the real solution. Just drop it on my head. Drop a battery onto your head, a achievement. So that's why it gave me five attempts, because it knew I was going to screw up a bunch of them. 
I've been meaning to ask. What brought you here to the simulation? What brought you here to the simulation? I, the company. I just needed like five hours of content or something. You know? I find you to be quite adventurous. Just needed a new game to play. I'm gonna pet him at every every opportunity. A Tamagotchi? It's literally a Tamagotchi. Oh no, it's a Tamadachi. It's not quite the same. I am uncertain of what you but you seem to have a handle on things. What on earth is this gonna do? Okay, it has depth. Alright. I can use this. Oh man, I'm this is gonna blow my mind. I already can tell this one's gonna be weird. So I need to take a picture of that so I can turn it upside down. There is currently no camera facing toward it, however. So how do I get a photo of that with a camera that's pointed away? Oh, he purrs. That's beautiful. Do the buttons do anything? Interesting. The buttons do do things. But what value does that bring me? I don't get it. Diamonds? I think you need to get behind that fence. Welcome in, diamonds. I'm gonna take this photo. I'm gonna use it to get behind this fence. Whoops. I just kind of took that one. Oh! Now I have a photo of a camera. Which I can use. There we go. Now I can I can place that a little bit better. Uh I can do this. I can do this. There we go. But now what about the Tamagotchi? There's got to be an achievement or something associated with this. That was cool. We are live. It's going good. We're playing the trippiest game ever, maybe. Welcome in. We need a new... Okay, so we have two fruits. There's a chance we're not behind on fruits. I'd like to help you look. The Fenders left plenty of records of their work here, in case they were to ever come back. Cool. Well, I hope it'll be... Whatever, dude. A little bit crumbly for my taste, the Beast Bar. The Feastables Beast Bar. I've got a photo of a battery, and I got whatever this is. Uh, Whoops. So I need to cover up this hole. Easy. I have done it better myself. That one, I gotta say, I, uh, I mastered that one a little bit fast. So that either means they've run out of ideas already, or, uh, I'm just getting so good at this, you know? 
everyone give a thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you for the support. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Riot didn't leave in a hurry. We gotta find another magnet, though. I'm not willing to activate that teleporter until we find... Until we at least give it a shot to find another magnet. Are those some Cheetos? Maybe a Cheeto magnet? I bet there's an apple and a lemon. Or an, we already got an orange. So there probably isn't two citrus. Maybe an apple and a pineapple. At the cat, of course. All right, no magnets. I give this one my seal of no magnetry. Batteries you can throw in ocean to let the eels recharge. Fun, legal, fun, says Google. I threw a battery into the ocean once. Hey, you want it. I'm not perfect. To look ahead, but the simulation you know? is a bit of a maze. Grapes, that's You're probably it. That can it. If I were to guess, though, what remains of all their research should be scattered around you. And if I were a delicate Brunswick machine, comes through. climate change, I'd Hell be yeah, brother. somewhere. Anyway, I'll do my best out here. Find that machine, all right? I'm cheering you on. Uh, 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 uh. It's a mango. Something to do with climate. Oh, that's such we got a mango, boys. We're the mango boys now. Is that what she's been working on? Oh, beanbag chairs. Oh, who remembers beanbag chairs? Sure. You must tell her. When's the last time you've seen a beanbag chair? I want to get one now. I'll talk to her, but try having a little faith. Let's see. Amazon beanbag chair. What's Amazon got for beanbag chairs? 50 bucks, that's pretty affordable. It's kind of weird though. I gotta do something to make, this is so wonky. Why is it so wonky? What's going on here? This is the wonkiest tab in the world. That's better. Well, it's quite cheap, so maybe it's not better. This one looks really nice. It's fur lined. Look at what a great time she's having. And we can get it in teal. Wow, look at that color correction. They, they really know what they're doing. Graphic design is their passion. <laughs> 69 bucks. I mean, I don't know where I'd put it, but I'm interested. I'm going to keep that tab open. That's an interesting tab. Beanbag chair shaped like a mango. Now there's a business. You make beanbag chairs shaped out of different various fruits. You have a big banana chair. It'd be more like a, more like a side sleeper pillow. There's definitely a business there. There's one battery, but that killed the uh, power. The power button. That shut off the power. So I need, I don't know what I need for that. That's wild. That's crazy. Oh, there's a camera over there. see what the camera has to say what type of beans they have in that chair when I had one it was like really mini packing peanuts kind of and honestly it was overfilled I remember it not being very squishy 
I also remember my mom, I think, I think it was just in the car one day when she picked me up from school. <laughs> it was just a surprise beanbag chair in the car. Something like that. Pinto beans? I hope they're not cooked. But it'd be funny if they were. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I still need to... I gotta take a picture of this battery real, real quick. That's what I should have done. Oh, no, I couldn't have done that. I was gonna say I should have put the ba battery down, then took the picture, but... That wouldn't have worked. You know what? I think a beanbag chair would be much more comfortable if the beans were cooked. The problem is that it just wouldn't last very long. You'd have a lot more comfort, but only for it'll only be temporary comfort. Maybe we could maybe we could come up with a business. I've been watching Shark Tank, so I'm thinking about businesses. Maybe we can come up with a business that takes like a food grade bag, a food grade trash bag, fills it with cooked beans, and somehow it's like an emergency food. <laughs> like you have an you have an emergency source of like thirty pounds of beans in an emergency. You can just eat start eating from your chair. Biodegradable, good for the environment. I think there's something there. A be <laughs> Honestly, that's really funny. That could be like a bit. It could be a skit on something. Beanbag. Refried beanbag chair. Need a nice cozy bean ratio for maximum cozy beanbag experience. That is very true. The one I had was like a perfect sphere. It was a lime green perfect sphere. Sphere. We just got the apple magnet, and uh, that's that's a that's a magnet achievement unlocked for the banana boys. This is a weird one. I feel like I need to do something else first. A beans tier list? That could be arranged. <laughs> My family would suffer, but... They already suffer for the content. It's too crumbly. I'm getting... Like, I literally ruined my mat. There's little chocolate crumbly bits. I'm just copying those edible cups. Those were whack, though. Those were like solid plastic that they just called edible because it was brittle enough to chew it. I mean, I guess I'll just take the picture. It looks like nothing to me, but like, what do I do with this? Oh, it does have the, all right. I know exactly what to do with it then. I didn't think it would have the back side of it. That, that adds like a new layer of complexity. Banana boys! Finally, a good use for soybeans. There's a, there's a few good uses for soybeans already. There's soy sauce. There's... Maybe that's it. You can't run and jump, so this is... You can just do normal, normal hops. That's like the worst solution ever. That's the jankiest solution. 
knew a guy who kept a cheese sandwich in his shirt pocket so the cheese would melt by lunchtime. That's pretty wise. So how do we incorporate pocket cheese into this idea? You could line... You could fill the bean bag with the beans. The, the food grade trash bag filled with beans. And you could have any flavor bean. You could, this could be this could be a customizable bean experience. And then that bag is placed into a second food safe bean bag, a second food safe trash bag, which is filled with cheese. And by sitting on it, you warm the cheese, you extract the cheese with, with a pump or Perhaps you just bite a hole and just suck it out. <laughs> and then you cut it open. And you have cheese and beans. So now how do we add tortillas to the mix so that we have like nearly a full meal here? Maybe we have a ottoman that's filled with a vacuum sealed stack of... Uh, of uh, shelf stable, highly preserved tortillas. So you're laying on your cheese and bean, uh, your, your cheese and bean bag, <laughs> and you have your feet up on the ottoman filled with tortillas. There's something there. There's a bit, there's a sketch, there's something. That's a good little brainstorm. Soy sauce, but soy isn't good Unless you want a lot of estrogen in your diet. I think that's bull crap, dude. I drink so much soy milk when I was deployed. I don't believe in that estrogen stuff. I don't think your body does anything with it. Because, like, dude, I seriously had, like, five soy chocolate milks a day. They were so good. I don't know where to go. I have no clue where to go. Oh, I guess I just need to go to the next place, right? Yeah. Dude, I had so much soy milk. I, I don't I don't think there's any any merit to that estrogen thing. Masterful engineer. Bean bag filled with beans with heat pockets for cheese melting. Batteries, the teleporters, that's tortilla slip cover. Though he wouldn't accept the You mean a third food safe bag? So it's three layers and the outer layer I'm sure you'll find something useful here is tortillas because it has to be able to withstand like 30 years of of uh storage of use it has to be food safe for about 30 years for it to be considered <laughs> for it to be considered a doomsday item a doomsday prep item because that's the market we're going for preppers you know what we started the next level I was just handed an egg. Looks like an avocado, but I assure you it's not. It is a dinosaur egg. It has jelly beans. <laughs> Yay! And they're not... These are not, um... These are not... Yucky beans. Next level. But I just said... Maybe I didn't say it all the way. I need to jump into another tin. I got so much stuff going on. There we go. Music's paused. We got one more tin. Courtesy of Dr. Bob. This is Clover Leaf. I'm expecting a, uh, a King Oscar vibe. Your beanbag chair is almost expired. Yeah, they do have they do have a shelf life when they're filled with beans, real cooked beans. But imagine if you had like a hurricane or something in that in that. 30 years some some reason that you had that you couldn't go to the store or the store had no food left or something 
you're prepared with 30 pounds of bean dip. <laughs> there we go. Dr. Bob. Shouts out. I'm really bad at getting these bristlings out without breaking them. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know. Not my thing. It's like a little bit... It's a little bit too earthy. They do look pretty. You're right, Diamond. But do they taste pretty? That I don't know. That I don't know if I can say. I want that cat eye a little bit visible. There we go. I think I have an idea. Shouts out to Dr. Bob and shouts out to Sprats. Are they Sprats? I honestly, at this point, I still don't know what a Sprat is. That's going, a, that's going a little bit too deep for me. I'm more of just a taster, you know, than a, than a science guy. This is a leftover uh, chip from Mexican food earlier. That's much better. Yeah. It's actually really good. Sprat is a baby Dean. All right. So that's not like, uh, that's not like a genus. Oops. It's more like just a age, an age range. So like my daughter's a toddler, but I can call her a Sprat. Yeah, good not great. Actually, maybe edible not good is is more accurate. How long have we been going? Okay, I think we got some more time. I have to find the new the new uh, collectible. So I have to like way overanalyze everything. A mahjong tile. So one out of seven this time. The logical explanation would be that I'm collecting seven mahjong tiles. Do you hear that? But I'm gonna leave it open to interpretation. I hear singing and laughing. I remember a celebration. All right, weirdo. Shall we go take a look? Yeah, whatever, cat. Too easy. Too easy. I basically did that on autopilot. Maybe a 5.4 edible, but nothing special. I'd say four. Well done. Because five is like middle of the road neutral. You know, I don't feel I don't feel good or bad about it. I feel a little bit bad about these. First see Leon. How are you? Thank you. So I'm I'm sorry about my brutal honesty. But it's just, you know, I'm one of those journalists that can't be, uh, I can't be bought, you know? I'm looking so carefully for Mahjong tiles or anything similar to like a game piece. Nothing. 
Why does it get like I can sit on all of these, but like what does that do? Wonder if sitting will ever be part of the puzzle. The puzzle experience. I need two more batteries. I have one photo. With nothing battery related in it. Rewinding to get the perfect shot. Too much of that cannot be good for my health. Hi. A birthday. That's wonderful. Gathering of friends. I love these little events. Whoa. If my system memory is correct, Sylvia received quite a unique gift that day. I'm my own camera now. A camera. Portable. And oh, he's Scottish. The cat's Scottish. A smart way to travel around here. And a powerful way to store data. I can't wait to see how you use this. I'd use it myself, if I had thumbs. Cool, dude. I can take a picture of whatever I want. I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna... Oh, wait. Okay, okay. I thought for a sec you only got... You could only do one photo at a time. Where you used it and then drop these on my stupid head too easy three batteries from one camera technically infinite batteries because now i can do this And I can just keep making more. And basically, this solves the energy crisis. <laughs> I just solved climate change in uh, about 15 minutes. Well, an hour and an hour and 39 minutes. Filter select. Interesting. Good color shift. I don't know what this is doing, but cool, dude. There we go. Next level. Where are these da daggum tiles? These Darshgarn Mahjongs. This camera physics thing that Mirren has proposed is going to make me nauseous. Gravity exists for a reason. You know what? This adds such an insane level of complexity. Being able to make your own, like, any everything because like before when the cameras were stationary i knew that my shot was good you know what i mean but now i'm like i could take a really terrible picture and it's like totally worthless see that's that oh wait i was gonna complain but I have the solution in my hands, in my very hands. Too easy. Enough with the phone calls, man. They're too loud. I'm just gonna let that ring. Maybe they'll give up. Dude, there's no more Mahjong tiles. Was it? 
There's got to be more to it. There's there's definitely a mahjong tile over here, guaranteed. Man, I made this terribly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't overthink it. Get me out of here. Up there is something, certainly. Hey, another voicemail. But how do I get to it? Here we go. That's something. We're almost there. It's gonna like... Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's a little bit wonky. What? What? Okay. No. How do I get back? <laughs> I don't need this right now anyway. <laughs> I feel like I was supposed to solve it with that, but I didn't need to. I just took a picture of it. Took a picture of the goal. I've been waiting for you. Hey, cutie. Oh. I had to search for the machine you're looking for. Most elusive indeed. It was, was that the only reason? Cool. Robot vacuum. I'm convinced that I'm not looking for mahjong pieces. Because, uh... There definitely should have been one by now. Oh, I can take a picture of him. But why would I do that? Poor Dustin. Doomed to bang into walls for all eternity. I can't help but laugh. Hours of entertainment packed into one lime green robot. I have I have a robot, a vacuum robot. Step climbing algorithm into his code. But what do I do with it? What a, what value can I generate with this robot? No value. <laughs> None whatsoever. My biscuit. Nick, Nick my biscuit. Your biscuit. What sort of accusation is that? You did, didn't you? I can always. Oh. All right. Got like a Zelda, a Zelda frame. It's not as if it could have gone cold. Oh, well, if you're gonna kick up a fuss, <laughs> hey, please run shortbread.exe for our esteemed colleague here. <laughs> biscuit. Okay, that's cool. But I don't know what it's for. I'll just hang on to it. Oh. Um. Too easy. Too easy. Once you have a picture of a battery, the world is your oyster. Everything keeps breaking. You think in a simulation everything will find a way to maintain itself, but no. It's 
fine. Keeps me busy. Some peace and quiet. Yeah, I've kind of solved this game, huh? Too easy. Too easy. Did you know that scientists have to spend years developing a method before they're often allowed to share their work? Interesting. I did not know that. Well, I guess I kind of knew that. Yeah, of course you have to... Of course you have to make your science believable before you... Before you try to teach it to people, right? You gotta work out the kinks of your hypothesis. What you can achieve in a year's time can be merely a blink here. Though, that does make perfection tempting. Si Leung was often wary of that. Ooh, medicine ball. Exercise ball. Maybe I need the ball. Maybe I do something with the ball. What? That's not what I had in mind. No, this isn't working. Maybe, well, I only have one photo to take anyway. I have to be very careful here. How about that? There we go. I have no photos remaining. How can I possibly, uh, how can I do anything? Here we go, film. These might be useful. One of us. Uh-oh, BB. Shouts out. Ricardo got a got a free membership from BB. And we're about to have a uh, stinky bean. Bean boozled. It's either a juicy pear or a booger, which is a lose-lose situation. Because I don't even like juicy pear. It's like dirt. I'm working in oh, our man. space today. I've excelled myself to the opposite end to keep That's horrific. To a minimum. It's quiet here, but I'll just Oh no. Other builds more. I can hear you. <laughs> Get back to work. Fine. I won't bother you anymore. Disgusting. Leon was no photos allowed. He often complained that it got in the way of his work. I was always confused by that. Haraya used to tell me that breaking things was a part of learning. Wait. Oh, interesting. So not only do I have to use this image to get a second battery, I have to use it as a bridge at the same time. Pretty cool, pretty clever. There we go. Job done. Beans. Sometimes I say, like, memes, and then I'm like, all right, I have to look this up, because what if they don't know, what if they don't know what beans means, you know? Beans TikTok. Let me, let me pause the music here. They bugging, bro. Why, bro? Bro. Bro. She made fucking beans. What the fuck? 
<laughs> That's it. That's it. So I hope you knew that. I hope you had that intimate knowledge of that random uh, TikTok when I when I went beans because that's what I was referring to. I was to meet for, and I called a friendly game of mahjong. I told her I'd meet alone. <laughs> this one. Food. Uh, this one is quite complicated. No, it's not. I just need to. Super easy. Oh, I duplicated the cat? No, I tried to, but it didn't work. It didn't come it didn't come through. That was not quite complicated. He really thought I wasn't gonna get that right away. Alright, we're gonna finish this level. I think there's only one or two more, and then we're gonna rip some packs and call it a night. Call it a jabroni night. Oh, so it, it really is seven mahjongs. I haven't seen a single one more. Um. I wonder. Oh, I just need to take the photo from over here. Too easy. Way too easy. That was brilliant. Was it really? Was that really supposed to be difficult? <laughs> this never gets old. I'm never gonna find any Mahjong pieces if I'm gonna sp start speed running like this. Pay the cat tax. Every time you see him, you pay the cat tax. It was true. Hey there. Okay, so looking into this setup, there's clearly something wrong with the system. The deeper you go, the more the data are corrupt due to lack of upkeep. Meaning you might have to find your own exit if that's the case. I think our goals stay the same. Find the specs for the weather disruptor, get out, save the climate. All that good stuff. I'll reach out to Save the time. climate? We already we did. In some cool ways. We already invented infinite energy. Hmm. Yes, I have noticed over time that in the later sections of the simulation, the degradation has gone progressively worse. Speed run. We could totally speed run this. This is highly speed runnable. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So... I only have one... I need some film. I only have one photo left I can take. Here we go, here we go. Ah, I missed the lever. Hmm. How much of an incline do you gotta have for this to work? This is tricky. Does this matter if I rotate it at all? I can't be horizontal because then you can't stand. But if I let's try that. Maybe I maybe there's a a version of this where I can walk on both walls. Yeah, there we go. That's the solution. I the perfect the perfect ratio to corner. Pay the cat tax. Many memories stored here. Many impossible things. It acts as a record of sorts. Nice gem. Much like a photo. Nice outdoor yeah. Moroccan Jetsons gem.
All right, this one's gonna be complex because I got three pictures I can take. This is just portal, this part, right? Yeah. Oh, it gives you time. You got some time. Once you charge the battery. So I just need, I mean, I guess I could come back here. No, that's weird. It's not total, that's not right. I just need to make a hole. Make a hole in the wall. What if I just take this? Not the best hole in the world. Yeah. Power it. Jump over. Good to go. That was a swift one, wasn't it? Was I supposed was that supposed to be harder? It's your heart pumping. Sometimes I feel like I I did it a faster way than they expect. Because they gave me three three photos for that one. But I nailed that in one. Pull the lever. Um yeah, easy. It has a battery, so... I just have to get to it. Ah! Too easy. Way too easy. Bean boys. Banana boys. Ooh. Release the blueprint dust bins. So I power it by standing on that. I can just take this whole thing. Oh, I sliced a dust in. A dust bin. I'm getting so many of dust bin related achievements right now. Is this what I even want? No, this isn't what I want. Yeah, this is what I want. I power it up. I take a picture. I rotate it. Oh wait, the battery has to be in the picture. There we go. Rotate. Done. Make an army of Dustins. I just got like five different Dustin related achievements. These battery ones are cake. I don't even need to look at the rest of the stupid level. Just run right in. Your speed is impressive. Stonehenge. Whoa. This is so fascinating. I've always wondered about your world outside. I must know, does it still look like this? I think so. I don't think Stonehenge has changed much. I bet there's, uh, you know, a parking lot nearby. But it can't be that different. Got all the cats. Batteries right there. Stand here. Take a picture. Oh. Nailed it. Too easy. Is this machine you're looking for really provide all the answers? I think this is the last one of the level. I wish that for all our troubles.
This one's a little ominous. I feel like it's about to get dark and sad. Whoa, trippy. They're messing with my head over here. But check it out, dude. Oh, I was going to take a picture of the, of the stairs. Thought maybe that would work, but I don't have my camera. All right, well, those are fake stairs. And now that's a fake wall. I'm in cartoon land. Nothing's real. I don't know why. I feel compelled to... I, like, I'm gravitated towards every collection of little items as if they'll all be filled with mahjong tiles and banana magnets it's a bit clever isn't it si Leung was always fond of games he did puzzle to keep himself busy his workspaces were no different beautiful This is a disaster. I need to speak with Miriam before this gets any worse. Where has she been anyway? She's so busy with her work, I haven't seen her outside her space in a while. I'll, I'll give her a call. This can't go on. Bindu, welcome in. Fashionably late. We're playing Viewfinder. We're wrapping it up. We're, right at the, we're near the end of this session, I think. But we do have some uh, some Jumanji packs we're going to rip after. Oh, man, come on. Why do you got to do that to me? Chi, Chi Leung. Wow. That was like uh, Indiana Jones. I just had to believe. The penitent man shall pass. You know what I'm saying? Whoops. get it now what what am i missing the cat's holding you hostage yeah dude i know the feeling oh here we go oh this is the pillars i actually saw this i saw something like this uh on reddit i think if you do that then when you come out it'll all be different I totally wouldn't have understood what that meant if I didn't see someone do this on Reddit. That would have stuck me for a long time, I think. I probably would have had to Google that. If I didn't have a, a sweet hot tip. Yeah, my new cat, uh, Iggy, is very affectionate. Oh my god, come on. You don't have to play me like that, man. You don't gotta hit me with these with these pranks. And I'm not used to having a super affectionate cat because my other one is totally not. That doesn't look like it's gonna work, but I'll give it a shot. So it's weird that like I'll sit down and she'll get on my lap and I'm I'm straight up stuck there. There's nothing I can do. Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. Right? Yeah, there's, well, that's not quite the whole battery. I put it in front of the camera, but I, it's, a, it's an awkward angle. get it in front of the camera in just the right spot 
I only need to turn it a little, little, little bit, so. Right? Uh. Oh, wrong way. Hmm. No, that's not, that's not quite right. I, th I think I'm just gonna give that a shot. Let's see. You don't like most cats? That's crazy, dude. Every cat is like a, a special snowflake with its own. So this is no, I'm not doing the right thing. This is nothing. This is a nothing burger. I never had a cat. My husband brought a cat to the marriage and she's super affectionate and chill. I think we I think we had this conversation before. I think you told me that once. And then I think what I said was neither of us had a cat, but we felt compelled to get a pet when we got together. And we landed on cat because hot take. Jabroni is not a dog fan. Oh, are these batteries? No. I don't know what to do. This one actually has me stumped. I mean, this is nothing. This is a nothing photo. What is it with husbands and cats? I don't know, dude. Cats are just lit. I don't know what to tell you. Dogs are too much. They're too much energy. Although my my new cat's pretty high high energy. I can this can this dude give me a tip maybe? This one actually has me stumped. Cats automatically have style. Yeah. They have their own Oh, do I pillar it? I bet like if I walk in weird pillory ways, suddenly it'll be real. All right? That's what I'll do. Right? Because here is the original one. That's all. I just have to take a picture of the original one. I figured it out. Like I just totally, uh... Oh, what? Iggy is a dog with food. Yeah, she has dog-like traits. So that didn't work because it's not actually taking a picture of the battery, but we are on to the right. We're on the right track because I think if I go this way, maybe. No. Nope. So what's this? What's the secret here? What if I what if I don't look at it? And I approach it from behind. Nope. Hmm. Thought I solved it. I just posted an Instagram story with the cat and tagged you. All right. Let's see it. Let's see this cat. Oh, I got no, I got no battery left. That's a dog. Happy birthday. That's a nice cat, dude. That's lit. Look at that cutie. The cat, not me. Yeah, my, uh, my Iggy will sit on my sit on my uh, lap while I'm at my computer and I'm just stuck here. Okay, so it changes as soon as you cross the threshold here. So what if I jump? No, that was dumb. Can I reach it? Of course not. 
and I can't take a picture of it. So what can I do? I can take a picture anyway, and I can use this to destroy the pillar. There we go. What? Still happens as soon as you as soon as you cross the threshold. This is bananas, man. This is Wonk City. Did I say bananas again? My bonded kitten pair are affectionate, but don't sit on my lap like the last one. One of my, like, one of our regrets is not getting, when we got Hella, we could have got her brother too, but we didn't, we just didn't think about two cats. What if I, what if I make it fall somehow? Dude, I think that did it. Yeah, because it's the pillar. It's the pillar that, uh, that turns weird, not the battery itself. Nailed it. I just kept at it, you know? When you meet adversity, you just have to stay on top of it. Don't you find it fascinating? Complete the illusion levels in Chapter 3. When given the space and motivation, they, uh... They might not always be perfect, but they are special. What a nice little Scottish cat. He's maybe he's a Scottish fold even. So uh, now I have to get back to the train, and I think when I get to the train, I'll figure out how to save and stop, and we'll rip, rip a few packs before I go watch Below Deck. The machine you're looking for. Is that the only chance you have? The only solution your mind has decided upon? I don't even know what you mean, dude. Then there's only forward. Is cool. Well, there's two levels left for another night. And I hope that by leaving, it saves my progress, right? Fascinating. Yeah, perfect. It works. That was fun. That's a cool game. That's super trippy. Banana boys! So, I've got a mess here of, uh... Dr. Bob's fish. But I'm just gonna eat around. And we'll just knock out our packs. Where did they... Where'd, they, where'd I put them? One... How many is on the to-do list? Three packs. Three Jumanji packs. I hope everyone had a good time. Sometimes these games are a little slow. And I'm having a great time. But, you know... The slow games aren't, like, filled with things to talk about. <laughs> Monkey Patrol, we ripped that one already, but I feel like the one we had was a different frame or something. Ooh. Big spiders, dude. Higher ground, we have that. The ones where the big bugs show up are like the worst. Or I guess, I guess the rampage is, Stampede, I mean, is the actual worst because it destroyed the whole town. But the bugs are awful, man. Don't stay put. That's the, uh... That was the stampede one. Don't stay put. Judy and Peter are puzzled by... And Alan and Sarah, Sarah oblivious to... Judy's Jumanji Rhyme. A distant rumbling gets their attention. 
and then a herd of rhinoceroses, elephants, and other animals explode through the library wall in a stampede of immense proportions. And then they go all down the, the whole city. I'm digging the new Ashoka Shindig, bro. No spoilers if you haven't gotten to it. We haven't gotten to it. I am excited about it. But right now we're watching Below Deck. The parishes are gone. This is where he sees his family's headstones. Locating the Paris shoe factory, Alan finds a boarded up building, empty except for a homeless person. When asked, the man tells Alan that the factory shut down when the parish's son ran away and the town followed suit. Then he directs Alan to the graveyard to find his parents. That's so sad. What a tragic tale, actually, Jumanji is. To be honest, I'm a little drunk and was going to crack some Deans alongside, but my roommate is picking up some Taco Bell. Yeah, man. I hope you got a Mexican pizza. That's where it's at, really. For me, anyway. Got it. Here we go. This might be a rhyme. Uh-oh. Every month at the quarter moon, there's a monsoon in your lagoon. We already have that. What the heck? We have this like, exact pack. We ripped this exact pack. No. The Van Pelt thing we had. It, no. I think we had this exact pack. How do they cut these? Okay. These are different. These ones are different. It's not totally the same. Help us finish. Because the game was originally theirs and it has to be it has to be completed they have to finish their game but because he rolled a dice he joined the game so they were all permanently interlocked until the game is finished man it stinks in here these brunswicks really do stink well jabronis here's the last here's the last pack and with this last pack i'll bid you adieu and thank you so much for hanging out. It's been two weeks and I missed your beautiful, uh, I wanna say faces, but your your beautiful YouTube handles. But we had fun, we had an awesome camping trip. Bunch of pictures on Instagram, if you're interested in being parasocial with me. Those poor children. He, he was a good cop. He's not, he's not a, you know, a cab, am I right? But this guy was pretty nice. He was a good guy. He, he really wanted to help the parishes. Oh yeah, and he was uh, like a shoemaker or something. He was like, he was like, uh, he was like the dude's friend when they were kids or something. How do you film something like this in the 90s? Like, I know it's CGI now, but what was it then? It must have been CGI, right? Oh, is this one of those special ones? Oh, dude, what is our luck? Of course, we, we rip big on the last pack. That's bananas. Hot diggity. That's so cool. Wow, Banana Boys rise up. That's awesome. I really want it. So that's what a holographic card looks like in this set. I can't wait to see what a invisible ink card looks like. Or what that even means. Here we go. Last card. Peter the Baboon. A law of Jumanji having been broken. You will slip back even more than your token. So he slipped back to to the uh you know ancestral apes but that but he's a monkey right i remember him being very monkey like and having a tail monkeys aren't apes right i don't know i don't actually know where'd the cards go well jabronis that's that's about that you know and uh thanks guys 
thanks for thanks for popping in thanks for hanging out for two and a half hours while i play a really boring game but it was really interesting you know it, there's no jump scares but there's some weird effects and you know uh uh cool lighting tricks and uh upside down walls and things um it was fun rip big on the last pack shouts out to bindu for popping in late ginger later banana boy peach take it easy banana boy <laughs> Uh, Bindu, you missed the fact that we're Banana Boys. So I suggest you you uh, re-watch for the Banana Boys segment. Fish Lady, obviously. Who else do we have? We had uh, BB, Diamonds, Jim, Dr. Bob, Les. We had a stacked crew today. Thanks so much, guys. Hey, man, I saw some Star Wars reviewers talking shit about star wars and they started opening cards biting style is not a good look for them i'm the premier <laughs> card opener how dare they no i'm very late to the party very very late well later everybody thank you so much for hanging out my wife is like uh eager for me to stop so we can watch below deck and she can do her thing and i'm going to oblige bye everyone love you thanks for popping in mm -hmm.